Bonjour. Uh, greetings. It is February 9th. I said it was February 9th because I did two reviews yesterday and I didn't want to have to do a review today. But I do a review every day. I don't know where I supposed to. But it's part of my daily practice. I do two albums every single day for the rest of my life. So, here's today. I had to pick two albums that were perfect 10 albums that I love uh, that are somehow related. These two albums are very different, but the reason I poorly tried to speak French at the beginning of this it's because the book's album, Lemon of Pink, is kind of music concrete. Music concrete is, it, it has a rich history. It goes back to the 40s in France. Uh, Pierre Schaeffer basically is credited with inventing it. And then it's further developed by people like Stockhausen. Um, and then through the Stockhausen influence, you get, you know, all the good bands from the 60s, the Beatles, Frank Zappa, Pink Floyd, all the good new bands, Animal Collective, Ween, The Boredoms, you know, basically all my favorite music, they use this electronic pastiche. They use tape and synthesizer manipulation to create these dissonant soundscapes. Um and take you into this non-linear place. Take you into this place where there's no rules, seemingly. Um, deep into your pre-judgmental psyche. So, this is, like, this music to me sounds so free that I don't want to rank it. I don't want to tell you it's a 10. It's a 10. This album's a 10. This album's not really music concrete. On Wikipedia, it was defined as Folktronica. I thought that was cute. Folktronica. I guess that's what Animal Collective is, too. Um, anyway, Music Concrete is as fake as any other genre. Uh, but Stockhausen, one of the great geniuses of music. I have to review Stockhausen. This is a good way to kind of dip my toe into the Stockhausen territory. And Ski Mask the Slump God is just one of the best rappers. He's just one of the best living rappers. I love his verses. His flow is impeccable. His beat selection is great. My favorite record of his is uh, Beware Book of Eli. So, it has book in the title. This band is called The Books. So those are that's why they're together. And if you like Ski Mask the Slump God, I want to tell you about Music Concrete. So, I'm going to review that first. Because it's pretty easy for me to explain why Ski Mask the Slump God is awesome. Um, it's harder for me to explain why this ambient pastiche stuff is incredible and just as good. Um, anyway, I should probably pull up a track list of Lemon of Pink. Lemon of Pink. See, because they have all the notes, but I don't have the track list. Okay. Here we go. First song, Lemon of Pink. Second song, Lemon of Pink Part 2. First song goes into this pretty uh, female singing. There's kind of like a female narrator almost in this. She says just Lemon of Pink. Um, there's tons of vocal sampling. There's a lot of vocal sampling of gospel preachers reading from the Bible. Uh, there's vocal sampling of a guy just like ordering whiskey. There's vocal sampling of Alan Watts, I recognize, because I've listened to the lecture that they were sampling. Um, all sorts of different people speaking different languages, not just speaking in English. So. To me, I don't understand a lot of what they're saying, but it's fascinating to hear how something sounds when you don't have to immediately turn it into meaning. Like, I understand English very well, 
So other languages sound musical to me because I can hear what it sounds like without that judgment filter coming in and ruining my experience of the musicality of the language, which is why I'm trying to learn as many languages as I can. Um, and my pronunciation is bad, but it will get better. I'll get better at the instruments, then my music will be better. I'll learn how to paint, and then my art will be better. I'm trying to improve myself. Anyway, first song. Pretty singing, acoustic guitar figures. It sounds kind of like bluesy country. Swell of strings, complement it well, come in tastefully. There's this choppy interruption element that's constantly in this record. This is why I label it as music concrete, or at least informed by music concrete, because it's like pastiche of sounds. Even when they're playing violin, when they're playing banjo, when they're playing acoustic guitar, or they're playing two acoustic guitars, there's this dynamic shift where they're constantly cutting little pieces in and out so you don't get complete ideas. You get this crude facsimile of all of these different ideas kind of interrupting one another in this chaotic way that to me sounds like the freest form of music is music concrete. It sounds freer than free jazz, which is the second freest form of music. Uh, the third, I think, is rap. So, because rap kind of is music, concrete, to me, I can try over the course of every day reviewing albums to explain how I think that the transgressive way that rap reduces music to its essence is punk. It is music, concrete. It is. All of these things are not random. There's nothing random. After the first part of Taste of Lemon, she sings again over this lush arrangement. It's building with the strings and the guitars. Um, it's shifting back and forth uh, in this interrupting style that I described. But it swells and develops into this ornate, beautiful kind of soundscape uh, and then she repeats this lyric was always smokers ourselves was always smokers ourselves we went through hell we went through hell all's well that ends well then there's part two uh which is again like further development of this the electronics the vocal samples the violin the banjo the acoustic guitars playing somewhat chaotically in a way that's difficult to describe because it doesn't fit any traditional song structures. Uh, after part two of Lemon of Pink, which is kind of a further development of the ideas than the first part, I understand why they connect these two. Tokyo is great. It has this exquisite guitar. I love the guitar line on this. Um, it, of course it changes. They, play, they never play the same measure on a guitar for more than a couple measures. And then it's into electronics, it's into vocal sampling, it's into bass effects, it's into manipulation, it's into... Anyway. So this song has this beautiful guitar melody laid on an acoustic, and then these string fragments start playing. And the strings are used almost like a percussive interruption to the guitar. And it returns to a different guitar figure has nothing to do with the beautiful guitar that they could have explored for a normal song. They just start playing a different song. This song is also good, that if it was a song, but it's a guitar fragment. Um, and it develops into this uh, joyful progression where there's, there's singing, there's then these electronic bursts of atonal that interrupt the singing. Then a woman sings in a language, I'm not sure what language, for a few measures. And then it's just reduced to the guitar noodling uh, in a less melodic way. And then it's like a guitar duo. It's like two acoustic guitars playing these kind of complementary melodies. And then the song's over. 
Bonanza is exquisite. The singing reminds me of Nico. The singing on this record reminds me a lot of Nico. Um, I thought she had a very unique voice. I love her music. And uh, that's one of the things I think I dig so much about this record specifically, is it reminds me of Velvet Underground. It reminds me of some of my favorite stuff. Anyway, a if for everything is random conversation samples, it's just like people talking over people talking. It's incoherent. And then there's an arresting street figure that comes in and all of a sudden there's this kind of beautiful statement being made. And I think it's a fiddle or a violin being manipulated through some sort of distortion or like cutting the thing. It's pastiche technique that's throughout the whole record. Uh, but this progression I find personally to be one of the coolest ones in the record and it just kind of they patiently allow it finally after all these interruptions this is the first time I feel like they patiently allow it to build and then once it sounds like oh this is a good song I like this song voice samples interrupt in a different language and then there's also a man speaking and there's a woman speaking simultaneously at the same time I believe the man is just speaking in English and the woman might be speaking in a different language it's difficult to tell uh, this is a very densely clustered album uh, after that explanation mark is just a vocal jam just playing with syllables playing with noises that you make with your mouth um, and things pick up a little at the end I think there's a little guitar in this next song there is no there my favorite song on the record um, disorienting at the jump because there's constant flipping back and forth between different samples and instruments but the way they do the flipping back and forth this interrupting theme, they do this rhythmically in this song. So it's like the interruptions don't sound random, they sound like they're building a beat. Um, and then there's excerpts of people talking, like biblical preachers, prophets, uh, just random, the people in the band talking. This is a duo of these electronic experimental artists. They have this female singer that goes through this record, which is my personal favorite, and in large part, I think, due to this uh, this female, this pretty female vocal that carries you through the kind of chaos of the background of this record. Uh, and then it's kind of electronic musical chairs, constant switching, and then it becomes this beguiling acoustic figure, and then they flip it, to string and then create this weird world of rhythmic interruption uh, and then they sing in, in some foreign language I don't understand and it's back to pretty clean played acoustic guitar licks and it's over that's how the song goes then it's take time which starts with like bells and a polyrhythm um, and a man speaking sounds like like Hindi like or something some sort of uh, I don't know the voice sounds Indian to me uh, and then they play the bells play a different figure a kind of simpler figure and the woman starts singing beautifully over it and then they, they stick with that for a bit and then you're not getting anywhere for very long fiddle screeches it's interrupted by acoustic guitar playing melodious stuff um, but completely separate from what it's been up to this point then the song's over that is now which has already been she climbed in a tree a day one day god bless her something is happening that is not happening that's the lyrics. Then there's guitars for a few measures. 
There's some strumming. It sounds like it could be a song. And there's like a stumbly interrupting progression. And then a new strumming pattern. It's equally melodious. Equally sounds like a good song. Then it's over. Don't even sing about it. Starts out as kind of one of the most conventionally folky songs. It's pretty guitar chords. Um, and then the strings come in. And there's vocal samples of these different languages, these different influences, these different kind of prophets, um, or just ordinary people saying mundane stuff. Uh, in this genre of music, there's often just juxtaposition of seemingly random things. Um, it's a pure expression of the irrationalism that comes from Dadaism, which I believe is the most important artistic movement in history. Uh, you get used to hanging if you hang on with love. That's a great lyric. You hang with love, you get used to hanging. Those are two different statements. You use, you get used to hanging if you hang with if you hang on with love. That's what she sings at first. Then she changes it to, you hang with love, you get used to hanging. So it's like, you hang with love, you love hanging. It's chill for chill. Vocal samples. I have two, three whiskey sours. I don't know why that's there. Then there's this, again, it's like, peaceful, simple guitar in a sample. A uh, sample comes in, says, you're 45 and almost blind. Sounds like a gospel preacher. They stick with this guitar figure, though. Uh, then there's a sample of an audience roar. And then a few measures later, there's a sample of an audience, ooh, ah, which is just a hilarious thing to put in a song, in this song especially. I, I love the way that they layer this. Um, then they solo over the guitar progression and are met with a complimentary violin solo. It dissolves. And then the future, wouldn't that be nice, is up. Moves through electronic drone groove, interrupted by these sharp guitar bursts again, uh, and repeats, my mind is a mind of its own, my mind is a mind of its own. Takes me out to parties when I never, yeah. We knew that the, my mind had a mind of its own. A True Story of True Love. This is another one of my favorite songs. With anything, 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 anything. With anything, 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 anything. That's how this starts. Then, it's fairly straightforward for this record. Building a melody, acoustic guitar progression, indiscernible vocal samples, gospel preacher, then there's the Alan Watts sample, which when I heard it, my ears perked up, and I was like, I know this. I know this sample. Um, then the progression keeps shifting. Nothing stays still in this record. It's constantly moving. It's like an organism. It's like a plant. It's not like what you're used to music being. Uh, usually music is very repetitive. This is the antithesis of that. Is. Anyway, it hits this this cool electric bass synth along for the ride with the, the cool guitar strumming, and then it hits this Indian sounding progression. Uh, the rhythm and the tones of it sound like they're from Indian music, Eastern music. They don't sound like normal chords, and it builds to this cool crescendo. Uh, and then it melts down to just the synths. Then you're in this ain't right. Starts vocal, independent, independent. Again, there's arresting guitar. The strings get busier. Played like a fiddle as a percussion instrument. It's like she's hitting the fiddle, or she's doing harmonics on the fiddle, or the violin. I'm not sure which. I think both violin, banjo, fiddle, acoustic guitar, other acoustic guitar. I think that's the instrumentation. The rest of it is electronic bloops and bloops and samples. 
Um, but the way that it goes, the rhythmic strumming in this, accompanied by the strings, builds to a gorgeous soundscape. And then it's just the guitar playing and the guitar starts to kind of fall apart. Song over. P.S. Last song. It's just talking. They're just saying nonsense. It's like a man and a woman. They're just like, no, yes, well, okay. Um, God, okay. Laughing, just laughing. Well, laughing. My God. Oh, oh okay. Hi, bye. Record over. Uh... Yeah. Sharp edge samples, cool horns manipulated, cool strings manipulated. If you like experimental music, the books are a great band. My favorite record is Lemon of Pink. My favorite record from Ski Mask with Slump God, who just fucking rules. Water! He says water all the time on this whole record. Water! It's fantastic. I fuck your bitch when I'm bored. Because you drive an accord. I am not Simba, but when I do fuck that bitch, I greet that bitch with a roar. Ferragamo to the floor. Flaw like an earth's core. Knock, knock. Not the sound of the door, but the sound when I hit your whore. A little bitch. You need to wake up, need to face right now. A little bitch. So you fuck with makeup. Dick, I just woke up with Marc Jacob. I don't... He should be wearing, uh... Supreme, right? Marc Jacob's not that cool. Marc Jacob's, like, my era cool. Does this ski mask... I guess he's probably my age. Um... Wearing Marc Jacob is not impressive. Anyway. After that, he goes... A little bitch. Dragon Ball shit. Diamonds deconstruct disc. Hobbs on the gang. Anime shit. Full man once... Full one punch man fists. Again, the the opener of this. I'm a drowning ninja in the river of lost souls. Dearly departed from these unmotivated vindicated hoes. Amazing song, amazing opener. I adore this song. Um. Any references Elder Scrolls, like the fact that Ski Mask the Slump God is playing Bethesda games, and he's into Dragon Ball Z. And he's into Family Guy. And he's into Chucky. Like the Child's Play movies. He's the same. Like, yeah. Like, that's... Yeah, those are my... That's what I like. I love this dude. He just doesn't give a fuck. Anyway. Um. Dragon Ball shit. Then... Uh, run. He goes like twista. He goes twist his speed. He can vocalize very well. His flow is crazy. Like the reason I compare him to twista or like Bone Thugs is because it's like he's rapping at a pace that's like literally difficult to rap at. If you want to repeat this verse, it's actually hard to say the things articulately that he's saying, but it has good lyrics. Um. Fingers on your bitch like a tech deck. That's my favorite line on this. I love fingerboards. I used to steal them from KB Toys at the Arsenal Mall. I need to get a tech deck. I feel like what's missing in the world right now, other than love, which is the main thing. Second thing that's missing is tech decks. Third, mood bracelets. There's snap bracelets, mood rings. I want all the, I want all the silly shit that I have nostalgia for. Coolest monkey in the jungle, based around a screechy atonal kind of, almost like a violin, like the way they do violin distortion on the prior record. Um, it's like a compressed violin fiddle thing uh, that they vacillates between that and the like dope bass drum beat. Um, yeah. Ski Mask, the slump god goes off. He always goes off reliably. The Sababi verse is just okay. I like the giggity giggity quagmire Frank, uh, reference. 
Um, suicide season, not one of my favorites. If it was actually about suicide, I think it would be a more interesting song, but he's just using it as, like, a joke. It's so, like, the chorus is, like, uh, legs up, like, girls put your legs up like suicide doors. Like, just, I'm gonna fuck your pussy. Michael Myers, I'm gonna kill that pussy. Hi. Good afternoon. My name is Skeet. I'm higher than Cal. I dropped over the moon. Might be the coolest monkey in the jungle, but I'm not a baboon. Like Nosferatu, vampire attire, what's on me? Come with the tie of the suit. I want... Oh, then he just goes, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I want an Eric Badu, uh-huh. Wet as a bayou, uh-huh. Damn, that pussy knocked me out like it was an uppercut from Ryu. Again, Street Fighter. This dude is a kindred spirit. I love this dude. Drowning people in the river of lost souls. Geekin. Slow, soulful beat with a melodic bass line. You get auto-tuned vocal up front, and then it's just ski going off. It's great. Bitch, suck my dick. French fries and crisp. Gone with the wind. Situation getting hairy. Give it a trim. Child's Play. The beat is like, on Child's Play, the beat is like, uh, industrial, like Nine Inch Nails, Ministry, more metal even, and then it vacillates between that and then this just like kind of trap beat punctuated by like a cool triangle, like literally a person playing a triangle for one note. Um, and yeah, Chucky, I love Child's Play, I love horror movies. Um, Dapper Dan. One of my favorite songs. It's short, but he just goes off the whole song. And the beat is sick. Um, Fly like Peter Pan, call me Dapper Dan. Yes, I got a fan made of money in my hand. And I got a cannon. No nick and no drum and no band. Hotter than the sun beach when you're trying to tan. Take a zan, because I might scare you like a boogeyman. But really, man, I pull up in the drop-top minivan. Ninja rolling like coasters at Disneyland. Ninja rolling like coasters at Disneyland. Jump on a ninja like a pit bull. Diamond bikers chains. When she's sucking my dick, she sound like she eating lo mein. She's slurping on that dick. Bukaki, last song. Beat is like a sireny EDM synth figure uh, with like a rattly hi hat break beat underneath. Uh, it's bassier. Again, almost industrial sounding, almost metal sounding. Rich the Kid has good bars on this. Rich the Kid has good bars on the other ones. The only feature I don't like on this is the one that I mentioned, which I forget his name. I haven't heard him on other stuff. But Rich the Kid keeps up with uh, with the sick lyrics and the style of the the ski, the the, the slump, the just. I feel like they're they're complementary of a piece when they feature rapping with each other. The other guy feels like kind of like a an, an unneeded interruption. But anyway, two perfect ten records. Two of my favorite records um, are the Pink of Lemon by the Books, the Lemon of Pink. Pink of the Lemon. They just rearrange this. I'm just doing what they do. Trying to do it. Poorly. And the Ski Mask record is just great rap. If you just like good rap, just talking about getting high, fucking girls, with sick beats. Can't do much better than Ski Mask, Slump God. Dude's fucking legit, man. Uh, so those are the songs on all the records, and it's 30 minutes. So, uh, I'd like to say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you, blessed are you, and the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, be with us now and at the hour of our death. I wanted to say a rosary for me, but also for you. 
We pray for the mother and then the mother prays for us.